Good morning, good evening, whenever you're watching this, and welcome back to Terran Place Persona 5 Royal. So, in the last episode, got a couple of requests from Mementos, including one from Chihaya, who needs some help dealing with that ADP chairman, Fukurai. We also saw Shinya learn a valuable lesson on uh, strength and the responsibility that need is needed to wield it. And we also confronted Mishima in Mementos about his uh, recent ambitions. Thankfully, we didn't have to uh, fight him, because I'm certain that he can figure it out on his own. Anyway, we just got back from a trip to Nakano with uh, Futaba, where we ended up running into Iwai. And we're actually going to be spending time with him tonight. But first things first, it is Sunday. You know what that means. Aozuru. And this might be the last Aujuru we get. What do you want? Mm. <coughs> nice. I can't tell you. All right. Hmm, he's got a job for us. I feel like I can become closer with a Y thanks to the hanged man persona Hecaton Kyrus. Job I have is the diner is with Cow. I'm still busy with the whole suit thing. Go to that restaurant in Shibuya. I'll stop by later. Take care of him. My dad's really late, huh? He's the one who asked us here, too. You know, it's pretty rare for him to invite people out like this. He must see something in you, amamiya son I doubt he'd ever actually admit it, though. Hmm. By the way, um, has he said anything to you? About me weighing him down? Why would you think that? To be honest, he's been acting super weird recently. More than anything, he seems stressed out. I've even heard him mentioning my name on the phone a few times. But then every time I've gone to ask him about it, he's told me there's nothing to worry about. I don't know, it just makes me feel anxious somehow. I mean, we're supposed to be a family. I'm not sure if you know this, but he's not my real father. He just took me in after my parents died in a car crash. Apparently he was good friends with them. Honestly, I can't remember a single thing about them. I wonder if my dad even considers me to be a part of his family. You should ask him. You're probably right. Now that I think about it, um, have you ever seen his tattoo? Hmm? The gecko on his neck. The truth is, I have a really bad scar in the same spot from my parents' car crash. Back when I was a kid, everyone picked on me for it. My dad would always come home to find me in tears. That's why he's got the tattoo. He said it could be the new Iwai family crest. Oh, and I did some research on geckos. It turns out they symbolize protecting one's home and family. I had almost forgotten about that, to be honest. Maybe he cares about me more than I realize. Yo. Sorry for the holdup. You two look like you're having fun. What have you been talking about? <laughs> That's a secret between us guys. <laughs> Looks like you two are getting along pretty well, then. 
Sorry. Anyways, I can't stay long. I've got errands I need to take care of. Figured it'd be nicer to at least drop by instead of tell you over the phone. What errands? Or can you not tell me? <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? It's just work stuff. Ain't that right? Hmm. You should buy us something. Yo. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Order anything you want. It's on me. Uh, okay. By the way, I'm almost done figuring out what happened with that deal we were talking about. I'm going now to meet with the guy who set it all up. I'll have to fill you in on the details some other time. <laughs> Anyways, this is all thanks to you, kid. It's real nice having a reliable part-timer to help around the shop. It feels like my bond with Hawaii is growing even deeper. Hanged Man, rank 6. Alright. Um, you're not getting yourself into anything dangerous, are you? Dangerous? Of course not. Later. You can hang out to my wallet, Kauru. Eat as much as you want. See you at home. Okay. Kara and I ate dinner together. Hey, thanks for looking after Kauru. With you covering for me, I actually got some good business done, too. Looks like you and Kauru really hit it off. Glad to see you two get along. Well, He's about my age, so it comes easier. That was kind of what I was hoping when I asked you to hand this. To be honest, though, things went even better than I expected. <laughs> well, I figured I was just getting some security. But I guess that's not all you're good for. He's hitting that age where he has to figure out a lot. Some of which I'm sure he won't talk to me about. I'm kind of hoping you can help him through that kind of thing. Well, we'll talk again later. See you. <sighs> I found an awesome magazine! I'll bring it to the hideout. You have tomorrow off for health and sports day, right? I'll definitely get your adrenaline pumping. I really want to read it, but I'll wait till tomorrow. Oh, but if you're busy, then do that first, and I'll wait. See ya! I guess Futaba's coming here to show us a magazine tomorrow. That sounds like fun, but I'm going to bed. to see you for a clinical trial. Just kidding. We're done with those. But this is important. Could you stop by? Jeez. Stop checking your phone while you're eating. Just concentrate on your food. <sighs> I don't think he liked that. Come on, let's finish eating and then send a reply once we go upstairs. Hey. So, health and sports day, huh? Well, that's why we got the day off. Okay. So, I think we'll take up Takemi on that invite. I'll be waiting at the clinic then. That girl is coming by today too, so I want you to see her. Doctor, does it matter who likes someone first? What are you talking about? There's a boy I like, but my friend told me that I have to let her have him because she liked him first. Oh, that's not true. 
Really? Then why did she say that? Likely because she's jealous of you. Just be careful because it might result in pandemonium. Pandemonium? That girl's gotten a lot better. So much so, in fact, that now she's gossiping. She even comes in on days she doesn't have to. It appears she's nearly fully recovered. Which reminds me, the new medicine will be completed soon. Your data has been extremely helpful, due to your generic body type and bland health history. You've been a splendid guinea pig. I mean, participant. So, thanks again. By the way, how have I been doing? Have I been helpful? For your escapades with the phantom thieves, I mean. I'm sorry, what? Come on, you and I both know that you were lying about needing to prepare for the entrance exams. I visited Oyamata in jail. A swing of fortunes like that could have only come at the hands of the phantom thieves. And to have it happen when it did, isn't the only logical conclusion to think that it's you? <laughs> so what if it's true? A normal person would probably notify the police. Well, I don't care. The point is that without you, I wouldn't have been able to complete my mission. I would have never finished the new medicine while I was being deceived by Oyamata. And I would have never met any of the townspeople. I bet the Phantom Thieves save people in need. Just like doctors do, huh? So, I'll go out on a limb for you. I'll have even more powerful medicine ready for you. I trust that you'll use them appropriately. I feel a strong bond with Takemi. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of death, granting thee infinite power. Now Takemi will be able to see Miwa smile again, once the medicine is done. <laughs> Resuscitation increases the selection of revival items at the clinic. All right. All right. You can now fuse Alice, the most powerful persona of the Death Arcana. I'm not gonna give them to you for free though. So you better make some money in the name of justice. <laughs> now go, take care. Ah, you're back. Tomorrow is the date of the arrangement with your fiancé. I'll be okay, though. The state my father is in has put that on hold for the time being. Woo, we accomplished one of our goals. That doesn't mean my marriage has been called off, though. My father agreed to do so in that other world, but I'm not so sure now, given his current condition. Hmm. So that, too, will be on hold until the change of heart. Well, sounds to me like we're totally in the clear. Yes, and it's all thanks to you guys. Everything should work out well if Okumura has a change of heart. Assuming it happens like it always does, we should be seeing some results soon. Be seeing the results tomorrow, it looks like. Anyway, we got, we got a crossword puzzle today. Hey, hey! Co-opted Celtic Holiday. Rewards for tricks. Treats. Traditional magician. Witch. Trick or 
or treats and witches. That holiday's gotta be Halloween. A holiday held on October 31st with conflicting origin stories, such as a harvest festival for the ancient Celts and a Christian holiday for honoring the saints. The term jack-o'-lantern also has a range of attributed sources, but it's generally agreed that jack-o'-lantern carving for the spooky holiday originated in Ireland. All right. I see. Nice. Another tidbit. Jack-o'-lanterns used to be made with turnips. Because pumpkins didn't exist back then. At least not in Europe. Anyway, I'm gonna swing by the mall real quick. Because there's a certain item that we need from the sports shop. I wanna make sure we have it. Because we're going to play billiards tonight. What would you like? Alright, there it is. The jump cue. Off to Kichi Joji. Now, we could save our game and try to uh, get the results that we want, but um, we actually have something in the schedule that uh, that will cover that for us. Also, what's coming up next will take a while. Going through that over and over again just for a bit of guts is gonna be tiresome. Welcome! What do you play? What do you wanna do? Thank you! Let's get started. I hope I can do this. Wow! Stabilize your form, then take aim. There's a lot to learn here. The way the balls are positioned, I'll need to make a difficult shot to clear this. Hmm? Then, the cue! Are you going for that shot? Nice! That was a perfect jump shot! That was amazing! It was like magic! I knew you could do it! That's why you're our leader! Looks like your challenge brought everyone together! Alright, rank 3. More damage for technical attacks, and our knockdown rate has increased. Oh, I had so much fun just watching the balls rolling smoothly across the table. Glad to see everyone had fun. I gotta say, though. Wow! Thanks to playing billiards, it looks like you've learned to present yourself a bit more attractively, huh? Didn't get guts, but that's fine. It was so much fun! Hey there. Sorry to interrupt your fun. It looks like you're trying to learn technical shots. Let's see. I think you'd be able to pull off a really advanced shot. It's called a masse shot. It allows a ball to make a sharp... Oops! I suppose there isn't much point to me explaining it now. Let me give you this book. I think it'll be quite useful to you. Billiards a Magician. Masse shots, huh? If you're confident with your proficiency, maybe you should give it a try next time. Goodbye. Sorry 
for messaging you all this early in the morning. It seems my father will be holding an urgent press conference. I guess Okumura finally had his change of heart. That has to at least lift some of the burden on Haru's shoulders. For real? Congrats! When is that going to be? 8 p.m. tonight. I wonder if he'll talk about the mental shutdowns. Where should we watch it? Why don't we get together beforehand? Sound good. I don't really have a reason for meeting up, but it still might prove beneficial. Anyway, how does the Shujin Academy rooftop sound? I actually have to have some business up there. Sounds good to me. It's been ages since I was last there. Wait, the school? Futaba, make sure you come in through the front entrance. See you all there after school. Hmm? Wait, where's Yusuke? If he's still asleep at this point, he's definitely going to be late for school. One week left until exams. You'll have no problems if you've been studying regularly this semester. I just remembered. That aside, Okumura Foods has been a hot topic lately. This much media coverage must be worth at least 10 million yen. At first, I even thought that all this outcry was just some kind of elaborate marketing campaign. I guess it's given them too much of a bad image to be that, though. Advertising and public image are more important than anything else for a corporation. Are you familiar with a psychological test using these images? The idea is to give the two shapes names appropriate to their appearance. A mummy aside. You. People were asked to name one of these shapes Boba and the other Kiki. Which name was most commonly ascribed to shape B? Boba. This is it. Yes! Most people named B Boba and A Kiki. Sharp sounds like K and T are linked to a spiky image. According to one theory, sounds and shapes are processed in the same area of the brain. Furthermore, this sense is the same worldwide. No matter the language, the result is the same. Nice going! A product's name impresses an image on people before they even use or buy it. Big Bang Burger exemplifies this. The voiced consonants and short syllables leave a strong imprint. Although with the news these days, it may also evoke the image of the strong oppressing the weak. Even the teachers had their eyes on Okumura. Well, he should be having a change of heart, so there should be nothing to worry about. Alright, that's it for today. It's finally lunchtime. Man, I'm really in the mood for some bread today. Hey, can I speak with you for a moment? So, about Dr. Maruki's counseling, you've already gone to see him, right? Yeah, I have. I see. That's good, then. I'm sure you're aware, but Dr. Maruki's term here will be ending pretty soon. The higher-ups told me to make sure you've received adequate counseling. Be sure to visit him so you don't bring any unwanted attention to yourself, okay? Canceling, eh? But anyway, let's go get lunch. Bring on the bread! <sighs> uh, senpai! So nice to see you! Hey, how have you been? I've been doing quite well. Are you also about to eat lunch, Senpai? If it's alright with you, would you mind eating together? Oh, not at all. Absolutely. Ah, how nice to see you two together. Oh, would you like to join us for lunch, Dr. Maruki? We were just discussing eating together. Are you sure? Well, maybe I will tag along then. 
Um, is that your lunch, Yoshizawa-san? Well, she is an athlete. That doesn't really... I have to eat this much to stay active. I always burn through everything I eat. From my point of view, it's your two lunches that are the issue here. If you're going to strengthen your body, you have to eat right. You should really work on your diets. <laughs> Touche. And you're right, yours does look nutritious. You know, you seem to be giving off a different vibe lately. Yes, I was able to put my problems in the past and move on. Ah, so that's what it is. You don't seem to be overexerting yourself either. I'm sorry I'd worried you. Oh, not at all. It's wonderful to hear how you've been. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised. If you don't mind my asking, was there some kind of reason for this breakthrough? Well, it's all thanks to him and his acquaintances. I suppose you could say they gave me a reason to rethink things, or more like a reason to stand up to my problems. Isn't that right, Senpai? <laughs> That's right. Stand up to your problems, eh? You've grown to be very strong, Yoshizawa-san. Mm-hmm. I'm totally over it now. Sorry for talking so much. Why don't we focus on our lunches? Thanks for the food! Oh, I forgot. I have P.E. next. I should get going. Please excuse me. Yoshizawa-san really does seem to have found her footing. She seemed absolutely tormented about her situation just the other day. I have to say, this drastic change has really knocked me for a loop. Perhaps the Phantom Thieves changed her heart? Mm. Well, anything's possible, I guess. <laughs> I was just joking. Looks like time's up. You should head back to class as well. See you around. Hmm. You want to meet up on the rooftop after school, yeah? Rooftop? What is this about? Oh yeah, you weren't there. Can you come to our school rooftop after your classes today? I don't quite understand what is going on, but sure. Is Haru at school? I'm heading over now. Things were a little hectic this morning. I'll be there before classes end for the day. That reminds me, your flower bed is on the rooftop. Flower bed? That's right. The season is good, so I'm thinking of transplanting them sometime soon. Flowers are an excellent hobby. I will gladly assist you. We'll help too. Really? Thanks! Alright, I'll see you, all of you after school. So you're the one who grew these, senpai. <laughs> you can just call me Haru. The seasons are changing soon. So I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well. This time, it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production. All I did was add some... how do I put it? Aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement. Furthermore, Haru chose the flowers herself. It will surely be a great bed no matter the arrangement. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why don't we plant you, Mona? Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? You'd better photosynthesize while you're here. Well, let's get started. Perhaps the snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. That's not gonna make a difference. Hey, you know how we're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then! A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru! Oh, 
You don't have to do that. The school festival is more than enough. How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Well then, how about a night party at Destinyland? Mm -hmm. By Destinyland, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? It would be a bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. The entire park? You're talking about the Destinyland, right? Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? I did, but... Hold on, I'll go check. She really thinks like a celebrity. The heck's she gonna check? Guys, it looks like it will work! We're really gonna have it at Destinyland? Not like one of the restaurants, but the entire park? Even just for one night, the price is insane! Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we canceled the reservation, so why not take advantage of it? Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this! We'll just celebrate twice as hard today! I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, let's get back to it. So, uh, seriously, how much does it cost? For real? It seems we'll be having our celebration at Destinyland tonight. Hmm, that was delicious. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. The staff brought out this table and food just for us, huh? I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with the view. The VIP life is incredible! Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams! Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a sight like this. Lady On, this view is not as beautiful as... Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. You say that like you're not tapping into your inner child, too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. You said something like that. <laughs> Come on, don't fight in those. What was that? <laughs> My, this is so heartwarming. Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well, but given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far! It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. This'll really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? party will be for me! Still... How do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? Oh, perfect timing! Father. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I'd like to elaborate upon the whole truth behind my company's labor situation.
how my employees were forced to work under severe conditions, how lax we were with sanitation, and how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Yes, I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all of this true? Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. About that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. I... Kumura san? Huh? F Father? Why did he collapse? That didn't look right at all. <sighs> Don't tell me. Mama-chan, what's going on? No, that's impossible. We did it like we always did. You're right. We followed all the same steps. We made sure we just took the treasure, too. I should call home. This... this isn't our fault, is it? It's been okay all four times so far, ever since Kamoshida. If we let the Shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown. Right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? Th this is... the same. I remember now. It's just like... what happened to my mom? So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um, I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. For today, I think we should all return home. It's been a while. What are you watching? That's... <coughs> this is just a hypothesis. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. It was only a small error pop-up, but I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. 
And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective myself, I honor the value of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, sai son. I apologize. But then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. Did you see the news? Did you see? He collapsed during the interview. This is serious. That was gruesome. Wish they put some sort of warning on the video. They said President Okumura died. Really? Whoa, you're right. I just saw a news report about it. So, about Haru's dad. Uh... The news said it was a cardiac arrest. There's a chance he'll pull through, right? I hate to say this, but usually after such a report, the only thing that follows is a confirmation of death. No! Haru... Why is this happening? Can someone die simply from having a mental shutdown? I don't know. I suppose it's possible that the shock could kill a person. Ahura did mention how her father wasn't in the best of health. But for him to just up and die? This has got to be some kind of joke. Are we responsible for his death? I thought it was supposed to be fine as long as we didn't kill their shadow. Ain't that what you said, Morgana? It should have been okay. It should have been. It should have been okay, just like he said. Yeah, there's no point getting it mad at Mona for this. I heard the same thing too, you know. In any case, let's compose ourselves for now. We need to act normally in public. But keep Haru in our minds. Damn it, this doesn't make any sense. Why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing, but what are we supposed to do from here on out? Haru's gonna be fine, right? Well, I guess it didn't go off without a hitch. Shit. Well, can't do anything tonight, so let's go to bed. What in the world's going on? Feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. What happened? Who knows? However, don't you sense it? The malicious will of another? It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed, though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. I feel like my bond with Igor is growing deeper. Fool rank 9. All right. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. Is that true? Did you hear? Okumura died. It's all over the news. 
He collapsed during his press conference, right? I wish I'd been watching when it happened. You're probably better off. It was a total disaster. I never imagined seeing a heart attack would be so unsettling. The news says it was because of illness, but either way you spin it, it's still bizarre. Damn, wish I'd seen it live. Listen this time, okay? And in this age, proletarian literature, that is, literature written by the working class, did you see that interview? I thought it was going to be some hidden camera show at first. I was so scared I changed the channel. It really looked like he was in pain. That was sick. Will you quiet down? We're in class right now. Not to mention you have midterms starting on Monday. Focus on studying. <sighs> Things are getting pretty bad. Seems police have shown up at our school. Police? What for? Your sister hasn't told you about any of this? Nothing at all. Could this be related to Okumura's death in some way? But there's no connection between our school and Okumura Foods. Think they came to talk to Haru? She's absent today. And seriously, what, what are they here for? I can't even begin to fathom the reason. Anyhow, let's be particularly careful not to stand out. And head straight home once school ends. Understand that, everyone? <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. <sighs> We were hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. Yes! I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. The principal? No one told me about that. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but... With my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? One of my teammates was in danger. <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. I feel like my bond with Sai is growing deeper. Judgment Rank 5. All right. But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... <clears throat> hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? My vision... is starting to get distorted. Hey, hey, can you, can hear, you me? hear me? You need to stay focused! 
<sighs> Don't scare me like that. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sai Nijima. Myself. Now, explain everything to me. Has anyone been able to contact Haru? I'm worried about her. No luck here. Me neither. She won't pick up. It doesn't look like she's seen any of our chats either. I'm worried about her. Where have you been? Been searching all along. <sighs> I hope Haru's okay. We can't go out tonight, but we can read. Hey! And tonight we're gonna read The Art of Automata. Make sure you close up. The fundamentals of Karakuri lie in mechanisms that are based in clockwork. Wow! They call it Karakuri, but aren't they just dolls? Oh. Karakuri is elaborate and therefore requires delicate handling. President Okumura died. Is this just a coincidence? Is there an illness that could cause that? Nah, no way. So it was murder. That's terrifying. This might be the biggest event of the century. Apologies for messaging you so early in the morning. Things have calmed down a bit at home, so I thought there's something I need to tell you. What's the matter? Um, there's actually something that's caught my attention. I think I need to discuss this with everyone, though. We should meet at the hideout after school. It looks like Haru is managing. Somehow. Alright, let's meet up with everyone after school. Was Okumura... murdered? But that was a live broadcast, wasn't it? If it was an illness, then it has to be murder. Did something happen to the honor student? She seems different now. Still, I feel bad for him, going out like that. With this, preparations are finally in place. The public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Yes, I've already spoken to Human Resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed, they'll become the criminals we've set them up to be, just as you instructed.
It's so damn loud. Hmm? Where's Haru? She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? What's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura! Huh? So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Still! They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? What a lightning-fast change of attitude. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> Haru! I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. It must be rough. I'm okay now. Um... I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday, a public prosecutor came to my home. Um... It was a woman named... Nijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if... things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps... we may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? Let's all calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. I wonder what that could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? Don't tell me the Phantom Thieves did that to President Okumura. They're heroes! They would never do that! I'd be disappointed if they just turned out to be criminals. It has to be some kind of trick. They would never do that! I can't think of any other explanation. That has to be it. For real? They found a calling card on the principal? But that's impossible! This is ridiculous! Why are people doubting the fan of views over what happened to President Okumura? They'd never do such a thing. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Yeah, I trust them. Anyway, it seems like everyone's forgotten all that they've done up to this point. That won't stop me, though. I'll continue cheering them on. Make sure you tell them that. Well, see you later. Mishima is a bit narrow-sighted, but he's a good person deep down. We can't betray him. Right. right. Can't go out tonight, either. So let's read. Hey! Finish up Art of Automata. Make sure you close up. Karakuri requires attention to the finest details. 
Wow! What are your thoughts? So you finished reading The Art of Automata. Now I thought they were just dolls, but their mechanisms are far more complex than I thought. Now that you know how they work, I'm sure that's helped you pay better attention to the details. Hmm. for worrying all of you. I won't be able to respond for a little while longer. You don't need to mind us. More importantly, how are you doing? I'm okay. I'm more worried about the people at the company, to be honest. It seems everyone's having difficulty with not only clients, but the press as well. They're even handling the preparations for my father's funeral. I just feel so guilty that I'm unable to help out at all. You shouldn't. Everyone understands this is a trying time for you. And we're here if anything happens. I know. I'll get in touch once things settle down. We'll be waiting. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bless that girl. Worrying about others even at a time like this. Bet they killed Okumura to make an example out of him. Impossible. Why else would they kill him during a press conference? I read somewhere that Okumura raised his daughter alone. Maybe he wasn't a great manager, but as a parent, I feel for him. Murdering someone to make a point is textbook terrorism. Like Shido and that Akechi kid say, the fan of these are a menace. <sighs> Have we been cheering on murderers all this time? It has to be a setup. The fan of these aren't like that. They have to endure that harsh training every day. I feel a bit sorry for them. I believe in the fan of these. They wouldn't do that. Oh, the gymnast girl? Yeah, she's changed in a good way. Who on earth set us up? Does anyone have any ideas? Of course not! If I were to guess, I would say the culprit behind the mental shutdowns. Wait, how do we even know we got set up to begin with? They found a calling card in Principal Kobayakawa's office. Someone else had to have planted that, obviously. In the worst case scenario, it's possible they know our identities. Bad guys. Yes, our state of affairs is looking quite bleak. Let's prove our innocence. How are we gonna do that, though? It looks like our only choice now is to find the true culprit. Although, we don't have any leads. Damn it! Why is this gotta happen to us? I wish we could prove our innocence, but we can't afford to make a dumb mistake and get ourselves caught. We'll just have to keep laying low and wait. Let's not do anything conspicuous, okay? Hey, sorry for bringing this up when things are so chaotic. I know it's been tough after what happened to President Okumura and all, but this is the perfect time for smaller changes of heart to restore your reputation. Anyway, here's the info I have. If true, this one is pretty crazy. Apparently an ex-mercenary who works as an assassin is hiding out in the Shibuya underground. He acts like a homeless person during the day, but then goes about his work at night. He hasn't left any trace of his identity though, so there's nothing the police can do. Sounds dangerous. Right? I can't breathe easy knowing he's out there. Well, according to the rumors, his name is Yohei Kiritani. 
I'm seriously scared. I don't want anything to do with this. I'm leaving this to you, Phantom Thieves. Hmm. Mishima really does get some amazing info for us sometimes. Our reputation may have taken a hit after Okumura's death, but we can still prove our justice in mementos. We should discuss this with everyone when we have time. Oh, and we have to meet up with Haru before we can go in. The killer who cleans up trash. Well, rain, huh? Things have taken a turn for the worse. So, next time, I'm gonna try and lay low, get through midterms, and hopefully find a way to get out of this. So until then, stay safe, have a good day, and thanks for watching.